What's up everyone? I actually forgot to film an intro video. The original plan was to get out early, run around, find some deep holes, see if I can pick up any fish on my fish finder, and fish these lip baits that I just picked up a few different styles and a few different depths. While I was waiting for the water to warm up, I actually was just cruising down some crab buoys just for the fun of it, and I actually couldn't believe what I found as far north in the Indian River as I did and that's what the video ended up turning into. Just kind of skipped out on the whole trout mission and then just kept hitting crab buoy after crab buoy and check out what I found. All right, I don't think I have the lure for this and I've also have never seen this before, but oh, that was a terrible cast. <coughs> I've never seen this before, but I'm pretty sure I saw a triple tail on this crab pot right here, right next to this Melbourne Causeway. We're gonna try to catch him on a mirror, Dean. Didn't run away on us, so it came buzzing. There it is. And there it is. That's insane. That was insane. That was a triple tail in the Indian River. Get out. We're gonna come back to this. Oh my gosh. Whew. All right, running and gunning on my way home. After not seeing any more triple tail, I literally checked all the way from the Melbourne Causeway to the North Pineda Causeway, every crab pot possible. Did not see any more. Fished the river for a couple hours, um, O'Galley River. Didn't have any luck in there, but I saw a lot of action. And I'm on my way home, decided to buzz these crab pots one more time. And I saw when I was on a plane, one sitting under this buoy. So we're gonna give this a shot one more time. Oh, he sees it, he sees it. He's coming after it. He's chasing it. He came off the buoy for it. There he is. Yeah, baby. Yes. Yes. This is so cool. Oh, so cool. He's fighting. He's not getting away this time. Whoo. All right, we're going for a flip, I think. Oh my God, he's a big one too. Woo Indian River O'Galley triple tail. Who would have thought, man? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Let's see how big this guy is, get some pictures. All right, I don't have a tape measure, but I'm gonna take a measurement this way. It comes right up to about the green of this pole, so I'll get a measurement when I get home. Pretty sick. I think I'm gonna let him go, see if I can come back and catch him another day. And just like that, he swims away. I think I was recording. Woo! All right, so that was my first triple tail ever. Um, I was basically just killing time. It was 59 degrees when I woke up this morning, air temperature. When I got on the water, my depth finder said 65 to 70 degrees. And then I was just waiting for the water to warm up. I was on the west side of the river, was gonna start fishing there. And that's when I just got the idea. I was like, man, I'm gonna start following some of these crab traps. There was hundreds in the river. Basically just started at 12 feet of depth and then just ran the whole line of crab traps that I saw. It's kind of like this fluorescent orange yellow. Uh, I got the idea originally because I have a fellow teacher that fishes a lot and he told me back in January he caught the limit in like 15 minutes down in Sebastian. And he just ran north in the river from Sebastian. So I was like, ah, I'm gonna check this out. It's cold like it was back in January. Maybe this is happening. You can hear my dog eating right now. Um, 
maybe this is going on, maybe it's a trend still. And lo and behold, like five traps in, I see what I believe is a triple tail. And that's the first clip you see where I missed. That was really early in the morning, about 8.30, 9 o'clock. And I did not actually catch him. I pulled the hook and it was close. So after that, I ran all the way up to North Pineda on Indian River and I did not see another fish. I thought that was gonna be my game plan for the rest of the day. And then little did I know that it's not as uh, easy as it seems. You know, five buoys in, I was like, oh, triple tail, cool. I'm just gonna catch triple tail all day. I must have ran around from North Pineda all the way down to Melbourne Causeway by Crane Creek back and forth for about an hour before I gave up and just turned into the Ogallee River, which I've never fished before. Fished around there for a while, saw a few tarpon rolls, so I might go back tomorrow and check that out. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're excited as I was for inshore triple tail, especially in Ogallee, Florida, like, subscribe. I'll try to keep this these uh, fishing reports up about once a week. Peace.